Hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, it's it's mid-January now and the newts are getting close to, to breeding. I, I normally expect the first eggs from animals around late February, so uh, yeah, we're only about six weeks or so away and I guess it's time to start thinking about something for the newts to, to lay their eggs on. So I have a lot of live plants in my tanks, um, various different species, a lot of native species, um, things like this hornwort that's a, a brilliant oxygenator in the tanks it's a native plant i use a lot of that uh, but if you know anything about newts and the way they lay their eggs crested newts particularly is um, they need a nice round flat leaf to lay their eggs on or that's what they prefer at least so if you look at the leaves on that they're almost like um spines or needles uh, the, there's no chance that a newt can really lay its eggs on that properly so that's no good at all you need something better for them to to lay their eggs on one of uh well a very popular thing that people seem to use for some reason is this stuff Elodia. it's been around in the pet trade for years often just sold as a pond weed it's got a bit of a better leaf on it um, it's used by smooth newts, palmate newts, things like that, smaller newts. Um, they quite like to lay their eggs on there. For crested newts, load of rubbish. All right, as an oxygenator again, but the leaves are just too small uh, for them to lay their eggs on properly, so you can forget about that really as well. The, some people may say, all right, I've got crested newts and they've laid their eggs on a load yeah. They might do. If they've got nothing else, um, yeah, they might they might lay their eggs on something. They they might try and use that. Um, they don't like it though. It's not it's not ideal at all. The only thing the only transfer species that have actually had lay eggs on that is pygmaeus, which is obviously a very small species. It's a very small leaf. They can use it. Um, but yeah, I don't like that at all for them laying their eggs on. You need something with a much bigger leaf. Um, something like this is good. So uh, this is Brookline. If you can see a nice big wide leaf on there and what the newts do is they'll come along a female will take one of these leaves in her back feet, lay an egg, a single egg on a leaf and then she'll wrap it up around the egg with the back feet and uh, there's a sticky, sticky substance that they produce that will just stick that leaf closed and keep it protected from predators, predators and things like that. So something like that's good. Uh, water mint has a very similar leaf to that. Perhaps even better and very popular is this stuff. So this is watercress. Um, you, can, you can actually buy it from a supermarket and then grow it on. When you buy it from a supermarket in a salad or something like that, it'll literally just be pieces like that in your salad uh, with no root on it or anything. You can actually just throw those in your tank and then they'll start to grow roots, they'll survive, they'll, they'll reproduce. Um, so yeah, watercress, good plant for laying their eggs on. Um, what you will find though, if you've got a lot of newts, sooner or later, um, you know, they lay an egg in each leaf. And before you know it, all the leaves are folded over that's the way you can you can tell when they've been laying eggs. It, it's often difficult to spot the leaves, but you'll see each leaf has got a fold in it, and there's an egg inside there. And before you know it, unless you've got loads of plants, you might be running out of leaves for them to lay their eggs on. And also, if you don't want the eggs uh, or the young, sometimes they can eat their own eggs, the newts, and certainly they can eat their own larvae. And once the plants have got loads of eggs on them, you need to take them out, put them into a rearing container, so before you know it, you've got a, you've got a tank with no plants in it, and perhaps you've still got newts laid eggs and went somewhere to lay, and you've got rid of all your plants, and you've got a bare tank. So what I tend to do is use plastic. Um, my newts will lay eggs on on some of these plants, but I actually find if we've got lots of plants in the tanks like this, and I come along and I chuck a load of plastic in is they might lay a few eggs on the plants, but they'll lay most of them on the plastic. They actually prefer the plastic, it seems. So then we can take the plastic out, we can go and put that in a rearing container, and it leaves plants in a tank, which will continue oxygenating and, and uh, taking 
and pollutants out of the water, doing the job in the tank, making the tank look nice as well. We can leave the plants in there, we can take the plastic out. So I'm actually using these plastic uh, food bags, like that. There's a lot of different kinds of plastic you can use. Um, I found that these work particularly well because I like the transparency so you can see the eggs really easily. Also what I find really handy is what I do is I just open them up, I get a little stone or two, just enough to weigh the bag down, pop that inside, tie a knot, like so just above the stone. There. Then, taking a pair of scissors, I cut down the bag. Should have got some sharper scissors. And I make several cuts down the bag. So that I've got, just done a couple of cuts there, but I'll, I'll strips like that. Keep cutting. There we go, so what we're left with is these kind of strips of plastic, uh, what, I don't know, an inch or so wide. We can pop that into a tank. Obviously the stones will make it sink down to the bottom. Once the air comes out of it. and the strips will sort of float up into the air and it'll give the newts a nice uh, surface to lay their eggs on. You'll see that when, once they're ready to start laying they'll come along, they'll climb around on that plastic, they'll sniff it and they like a nice clean uh, surface to lay their eggs on so nice fresh plastic when they're ready to start laying and you probably will find they'll choose that over plants that have got algae and dirt and things um, on them that have been in there for a long time. Here we have an albino great crested newt that's laying her eggs on plastic. As you can see there's a lot of other vegetation in the tank but she's chosen the plastic over the plants. The advantage of this clear plastic as you can see the other eggs that she's already laid are clearly visible. Other advantages of plastic as well is if you are going to send your eggs out anywhere if you're going to share them with other hobbyists uh, you're going to send them out in the post or anything like that uh, if you use plants, what you'll tend to find is that uh, once you cut the stems or take leaves, leaves off to post them out, obviously the plants start to die. If they're stuck in transit for a while, is those plants will start to break down and decay. That can cause fungus um, and things on the eggs. It can cause the eggs to break down and to rot. So obviously using plastic, there's nothing in there that's going to break down. Um, it means that uh, the eggs will be safe in transit for several days. So I find that works uh, particularly well for people that want to send the newts, the newts eggs out. Um, so yeah, I hope that was of some use to you. Um, everyone should be doing the bit, I think, to try and breed the newts at the moment because you know these things are getting harder and harder to get hold of, and certainly in the UK at the moment after Brexit and all the other uh, restrictions that are going on. So. If you're planning on reading your notes this year, I wish you all uh, a lot of success. Thank you very much for watching.